Uh, what's up? I'm Sunburn. I'm an electronic music producer and DJ. I originally started uh, my career in film and um, uh, doing film editing. And over, over the years of college, I got really involved with music. Uh, I've been involved with music my entire life. Piano, my parents made me do jazz trumpet and all that. Um, but then when I was like 19, I got really involved with, uh, I got a copy of Reason and learned that I could make you know, music on the computer, bought a MIDI keyboard, started buying all this equipment and uh, dropped film altogether and then went to go study audio en uh, engineering. It was at a time in 2009, 2010 where uh, there wasn't anyone teaching or explaining how to like do the entire process yourself because just for so many years all of that, it was... Uh, you, you sent something out to be mastered or you had a you know an engineer to record all the stuff and then we hit this whole new generation of technology um, where it's these 16 year old kids and they, even me as I, I was just a, like a little nerd in my in my room uh, making music and wanting to be able to know how to do all this by myself um, a moment for that really took me to the next level was uh, my track with curly and um, say one probably one of the scariest moments in my life is that uh, I was like 20, 23, 24, and I had never like been in like an actual studio studio that someone was paying for. So uh, they're like, okay, there's this Estonian like pop star, like let's get you in the studio and like make it happen. I was like, of course, yeah. And then I get there and there's like all these people around and um, no pressure, just make it. And I'm like freaking out, like how do I do? Like, and she's just. It's amazing, like just like don't worry. That. And um, then Don Diablo, uh, another uh, from Holland, really great guy, he comes in and he's like, "Yo, let's take a minute and um, let's go outside and chill." And he's like, "You're stressing, man." He's like, "You're really stressing." And he's like, "Just get to know each other." So we go on the beach uh, in Venice, California, and um, he just sits down with us and like just we get to know each other and talk and just relax and um, realize that we're both going through this like both horrible breakups in our life and um, shared this like beautiful moment and then came back and wrote this song that I mean, still to say is like one of my biggest um, hits. The Club with Blue Jay, uh, it came together about almost a year ago. So I was, I was here in Miami and uh, they had this remix of I Remember uh, Cascade that no one had like found on some little low key blog and like who are these guys from San Francisco? All that I played. I remember, like I played it at Ultra, and then the next day, they uh, they hit me up on Twitter, like, "Oh my God, dude! Like, thank you so much." And then we stayed in contact for for a while, and uh, I was working on the song with uh, Kara, and I was like, "I'm gonna hit these guys up. I think they can." And I also like as well too. I was like, "What program are you guys working with?" Because like I'm I'm all I was all in Logic. They're like, oh, we're in Ableton and all that. And uh, one of them's in Canada, one of them's in San Francisco. So we're like, okay, there's gonna be a lot of bouncing back and forth. Like we never actually sat down together. So I was like, I'm gonna learn Ableton in two weeks and see how this goes, just so that we can bounce it back and forth with Splice, which is a, a, a it's like a, like a service, whatever, that allows you to then, it's like Dropbox for sharing projects. So we're bouncing these projects back and forth. And I'm like, I learned Ableton just so we can do that. and. I'm, it was the first project. I was like, hopefully this works out. And <laughs> like, I'm like calling and texting. I was like, guys, like, how do I, how do I like, re-delete this? <laughs> like, just basic. And finally got the hang of it. And um, it, like, took, it took like three months. And we just kept on going back and forth, back and forth. And then with anything, with any piece of art, like you have to know when to call it. And we're like, okay, it's done. We're like, okay, do we like it? And then like you, sometimes you get so close to it that like you're also almost sick and we're like. Like, do we like this? I, I gotta, we gotta separate. And then we started, I started showing it to people and everyone's like, oh my God, like, what is this? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> this just kind of happened. <laughs> and yeah, I don't like to do remixes of tracks that everyone's already remixed. I like to find songs that no one's remixed or no yet and be the first one to do that. And, uh, you know, make it, make it special. And, you know, cause like sometimes these like uh, compilations get like, there's 30 remixes of the same song. It's like, if you find something more unique, more special, it's not only special to you, but it'll be that translates to your audience as well. What's up? This is Monkey from Corn. It's El King. Mark Hoppus. King Glumon. Tori Kelly. We're Lucas Graham. I'm Chris from Motionless and White. What's up? This is Problem. I'm Lindsay Sterling, and make sure to subscribe so that you can see more videos from incredible artists.